Welcome. Even though the sunspot number has now crept above 100 again, the sun has produced relatively few flares in the last week. In fact, the fewest since September of 2013. Even when the sun is this quiet, it can still produce interesting events. Take, for example, this beautiful helmet structure seen here in the GOES soft x-rays. It was caused by the eruption of a filament and a subsequent coronal mass ejection. You can see the coronal mass ejection off the southeast limb in this beautiful sequence from the Soho Lasco instrument. Now this coronal mass ejection is too far south and too far east to affect the Earth, but nonetheless it is quite spectacular. Now let's take a look at the SDO AIA data and look at the filament eruption itself. I'm going to show you four sequences of SDO images at different temperatures. Note first of all how this structure forms and spreads and how it looks different in each one of the temperature regimes. Note in some of the images that the filament is so dense that the light from behind it could not get through and it appeared dark. In most of the channels you saw two bright ribbons that separated slowly. These are the foot points of an arcade of large coronal loops that are formed after the coronal mass ejection has left. But what is the temperature of those loops? It was only in the Iron 14 2 million degree image that the arcade was filled in. So that's the approximate temperature of those loops. If you look at a recent image of the uh, area, you'll see that the filament has reformed, so there's a chance that it will erupt again. This is quite common. I wonder how many of you noticed that there were dark areas both at the north and south pole of the sun at the moment. This means that the polar coronal holes have re-established themselves and the reversal of the solar magnetic field has been completed. Now this means that if you believe the dynamo models of the solar cycle, then solar cycle 25 is beginning to wind up and will start the inevitable uh, series of solar cycle 25 predictions that have one thing basically in common they're either complete guesswork or completely wrong we don't even know yet what the date of solar maximum will be let alone the date of the next solar minimum so predicting the timing and size of solar cycle 25 is nothing but a fool's errand some brave folks are even predicting solar cycles a hundred years in advance I do however note that cycle 24 on their prediction is already too low by about 50%. So I don't put much faith in such predictions. This plot shows all the forecasts of solar cycle 24. Each blue dot represents a forecast by an individual scientist. The red dot represents the most recent estimate of where solar maximum will be. It's likely to move both to the right and up as new data becomes available. So you can see even the professionals didn't have a very good idea of what this cycle was going to do just a few years in advance. The only thing we can do now is wait and see what will happen. In the meantime we can enjoy beautiful events like this one. And I'm sure in the near future the sun will start producing more flares again. So stay tuned until next time. Yeah.